What's up guys, Mr. Golden Thumbs here, and today we're playing week number four of our Road to Glory with James Johnson, or JJ for short. And now, all right, it's week four. Something went really wrong with my recording of week three, but I'm gonna recap the story for you, all right? So the way I had it going is, so JJ didn't have a great performance in week one, and week two, he had a meeting with the coaches and everything, and they hooked him up with the trainer and a physio, a specialist, to try and work on his knee. So they gave him the week off, benched him for that week so he could get ready for his week three matchup and get as much rest as possible, work out his, the little issues with his knee, and come back feeling 100%. JJ did come back during week three, and he started, got a lot more carries, ran for about 110 yards or something like that. Still only a one-star recruit for now, and we're not getting any offers from colleges. So JJ still kind of struggling to get noticed here during his senior year of high school, but here he is coming into week four. Now, I'm really sorry I don't have week three. Like, I feel bad. My, I think my file got corrupted or something went wrong to the recording and I couldn't reopen the file So there's not much I could do about that But here we are JJ coming into week four hoping to impress some prospects because the season is running out on him And it's about time he makes something happen and show the scouts what he can truly do So after a week of rehabilitation and rest JJ is feeling confident here in week four gonna get the start here and man is he feeling good so here we are, we're gonna start this game off not playing with any of the sliders, just regular sliders for now. JJ feeling good, that knee's feeling a lot better, and let's see if he can impress any scouts here today, and hopefully have some offers start rolling in, because so far it ain't looking really good for JJ. But let's get into it and see if he can, and see if he can go off this week and make something happen. So here we are, first quarter, and already out of the gates, Coach looking to get JJ involved here. Gonna be an inside zone run with the fake end around, or the fake wide receiver uh, reverse. I don't really know what you call this, but JJ gonna bounce it outside here. He's got no one blocking out there, but still gonna pick up four yards. Probably should have bounced that last, last run inside a little bit. But anyways, JJ still able to pick up four yards. Here he is, getting the carry again. And this time he's gonna cut it inside it. Almost getting that first down. One yard short right there for JJ. So we were, we were forced to put it away on the last offensive possession. But here we are getting the ball back. Defense got stopped. And Coach comes out here in the Wildcat formation. JJ at quarterback. Let's see if he can get some blocks here. And gonna get four yards. So this week's looking a lot better for JJ. He's picking up nice yards on his runs. Offense. Their O-line needs to block a little bit more. JJ's not getting too many blocks on the outside here, but this time he does get a block and able to bounce it outside and get 10 there. So after two bad run attempts, coach decided to go with the passing play. We get the first down, coming back out here. JJ looking to run it again. Almost, er, we're inside the 40 now. Can he get some blocks here? Bouncing off a tackle, but then gets caught up by three guys. Still only, so far we're only getting short yardage plays. Short yardage runs here from JJ. The O-line not blocking really well. They've blocked well, maybe one or two runs. Longest run of the day so far has been 10 yards. First quarter almost coming to them here. JJ has already got about 42 yards, 44 yards here. He's looking to get another handoff here. Gotta cut it inside, gotta bounce it out. Breaks a tackle, and there he goes, a nice. So if only there was a way really to switch the play, or to switch the play side. That would be really nice, but apparently you can't load the glory as a running back. I think you can only do that as a quarterback. But here we are passing on third down, and JJ is wide open. But JJ gonna keep gaining his fair share of carries here. Already 14 carries here in the first half. Looking to keep getting him the ball. He does get a block on the outside that time. Trucks someone, and there you go. A nice 10-yard pickup for JJ. JJ is feeling frustrated here. He's getting his touches, but he ain't getting no blocks. Or at least it looks that way. Either the O-line's having a hard time blocking for him, or this defense is looking to get into scoring position on the 20-yard line here. Going to keep running the ball with the draw here. And can he get some blocks here? JJ's got some blocks, got the outside. Nice running room there. Going to pick up 16. This O-line is really struggling, in my opinion. Honestly, if I'd be JJ, I'd be frustrated as hell, man. Give me some goddamn blocks, I would say. And there he goes into the end zone. Finally getting JJ's touchdown. Six-yard run 
gonna make it the first touchdown of the game. We're now 10 to 0 in this one. So at halftime, JJ went out and told his old line, y'all motherfuckers need to start blocking. JJ putting in the work, but y'all ain't freaking blocking. Now here we are in the Wildcat formation. Can he get to the outside here? There he goes, and there you go. JJ's off. He's off to the races. I hope nobody's gonna catch this motherfucker. Nobody better catch him. And there we go, JJ with a 62-yard run, showing that explosive speed. And this is the reason Coach wanted him on the team. And JJ finally showing that he is okay and that he can flat out run. Coming out here on third and inches, looking for the halfback toss to JJ on the outside here. The question is, can he get the blocks out there from his lineman? And there he does. He does get blocks. Picks up a nice chunk of yards there. JJ getting close to that 200-yard mark here today. 186 yards so far. Can he get that 200? And he does get another block there on the outside. JJ came out here with the objective to show doubters what he could really do. People have been doubting his ability due to his knee injuries and the fact that it's been kind of, you know, haunting him a little bit. And there we go, gotta lay a block. And so JJ's been putting in the work here today. He's got 200 yards rushing, showing he is healthy, ready to go. That week off really paid off for the running back here today. And there he is, getting another block on the outside. Can he make somebody miss? Stiff arms and gets 11 yards right there. The coach tried to call the option there, but it didn't work out. The quarterback got caught up in the backfield, so actually he's lost some yardage here. Third down and eight, gotta come up passing. JJ's open. JJ is open, but this quarterback is not gonna. Second and nine, inside the 20 now. We're looking to score once again here. Can JJ find the end zone one more time? God damn, the pressure came in fast there. So after an unsuccessful series on offense, the team just takes three points. Defense gets a stop. Offense gets the ball back here with under two minutes to go in this one. The nice toss to the outside. JJ gets a block, and there you go. Picks up another six yards to add to his total for today. Third and inches. JJ still looking to pick up that first down here. There he goes. Breaks. No, nope, not going to break the tackle. But still. And JJ deserves more respect than that from his O-line. Oh, my God. They're not putting any work to make. get this man some open field. J oh, there we go. There we go. Three seconds to go. Gonna run the toss here. Let's see if we can get JJ another touchdown here. Let's see if we can get him a second touchdown of the game. Can he get some blocks? He will, but gets caught from behind. Oh my god, not gonna get into the end zone, but still gonna be a 27 7 win here today for us. So after having struggled for the past couple of weeks, JJ comes out here and shows Coach what he wanted. Oh my god. So after struggling for the past couple weeks, JJ comes out here and totally dominates this one. 44 carries for 265 yards, two rushing teams, gets 130 recruiting points here for a total of 220 on the season. Still only a one-star recruit, which is kind of disappointing, but Coach finally saw what he wanted. And that shows that Coach made the right decision. JJ made the right decision by taking the week off, getting that knee rehab. rehab. Rehabilitated, wow. And taking rest for a week after feeling sore and whatnot and having trouble with his knee. So it shows to be a good, good decision by both of them there. So not a bad game, 265 yards and JJ showed us he can flat out run. He does have some natural ability but still has to improve on most of his game if he wants to get highly recruited. So after that performance, that earns JJ two scholarship offers here today from One Star Dynasty. So we got the Buffalo Bulls and Eastern Michigan, both MAC teams or MAC conference teams. And, you know, nothing too impressive here, honestly, for JJ. But still, offers are still better than no offers. JJ only starting now playing football in his senior season. So this is not a bad start for him here. And... JJ has had long talks with his father, even though they kind of have some controversy with what's been going on with his father's, you know, professional career or what has happened in his dad's professional career. JJ still wants to try and stay close to home, and Buffalo is the closest to home for now, so definitely gonna accept the offer from Buffalo on JJ's behalf here. And guys, that's gonna be it for this Road to Glory week. Matchup. Sorry about last week's 
not working out. I don't really don't know what happened. Hopefully, I can get this one up for you guys. But so far this season, up to 220 recruiting points. Looking a lot better with JJ. And man, hopefully this track star has got a bright future ahead of him. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Until next time, guys. I'm out.